this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about a new type of sequence called a geometric sequence. So I'm going to start with a pretty easy example. How about 2, 4, 8, 16, and beyond. And this is a geometric sequence because if you look at the pattern here, every previous number gets multiplied by 2 to get the next number. So that is a geometric sequence. Let's write that down. So geometric means the previous term is multiplied by a constant to get the next term. Oh, I should, should sequence here. So I'm going to show you how to write the recursive and explicit formulas for this. It's really simple. So for a recursive formula, you always want to give the starting point. So in this case, I'll call the first term a sub 1. That's 2. And then to get the next term, which I'm going to call a sub n, I would take the previous term, which is a sub n minus 1, and I would multiply by whatever in this pattern was multiplying by. So in this case, 2. I like to write it in front because we typically write it that way. Recursive, like I said, it's pretty simple. Let's try an explicit. So for an explicit formula, let's start it with function notation. So a of n is, obviously you want to start with 2, and your explicit formula pretty much is describing what happens. 2 got multiplied by 2. That's what got you to 4. Well, it also gets multiplied by 2 again to get to 8. It keeps getting multiplied by 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Right, so we need to have an exponent on this too, but we need to make sure it's the right exponent. So for instance, if we call this term a1, that means if I substitute 1 in for n, I should get 2. Let's try it. If I substitute in a 1 right here, 2 to the 1 is 2, times 2 is 4. That's not working. I want you to think back to arithmetic sequences. This is very similar. You always put the term here that you're working with, whatever the pattern was here, so in this case it was multiplying by 2, and this, whatever the variable was, always had a connection to this term. So if you're calling this term the first term, something here should reflect that. So I'm going to put n minus 1, just as you would for an arithmetic sequence. Let's try it now. If I plug in 3, I should get 8. 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 to the uh, second power is 4, times 2 is 8. Perfect. Another way of writing this formula is to not start with the first term. You can start with whatever term you want. Let's do it with 16. 16 always, you know, whatever term you start with is going to get multiplied by 2, so times 2. 16 is the fourth term, so I would say that the exponent is n minus 4. And you can check it out and see that it works. So there it is. Um, it's the basics on a geometric sequence.